There's no happy ending. But, uh, I'm going to make sure we, we come close. Mm. NFL star Mike Adamley was diagnosed with signs of CTE just last year, despite suffering with symptoms for almost 20 years now. But again, this is not just about football. CTE has been found in athletes in an array of sports, in military veterans, even in domestic abuse victims. And I'm back now with Mike Adamley and his wife, Kim. Um, what is the prognosis, Mike? What do they say the future looks like for you? Uh, well, at the time that I... I was discovered. I was in a hospital and getting a routine thing, uh, some scans on my, for the um, epilepsy. And then the doctor came out and he said, oh, oh by the way, uh, our scan, this new scan that they had apparently said, we, we've seen something else in there that have, you have all the um, s signs that are concurrent with CTE. I said, I told the doctor, I said, what do you mean? I said, they're supposed to be dead before you can be able to diagnose that. And they, they said, well, we're at this point in time, we really don't know, you know. I said, well, I'm not going to be, I'll be the first person who stays alive. How about that, you know? And, <laughs> so the, the, doctor, the doctor basically said, well, there's really not much you can do with it except you can change your diet, you can exercise. There's a lot of different things that you'll be able to do. I said, well, I can do all of those things. So um, I, I, every, I, things that help your cognitive functioning. And I found out my eyes lit up the more somebody told me that this is what you can do. For instance, uh, boxing, believe it or not. And it's not that you get a hit in the head or anything, but you, you, know, you have this, all these punch routines. You know, this is, that's like one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. When I was done with that, my brain was so I felt it hurt because I was I, I thought I was uh, you know helping it out. Yeah, just the routine of keeping. Yeah, of right, keeping exactly. Sharp. Anything that helps it helps what, it a lot. So, so now the two of you have have joined together to to form this new initiative, and the, it's it's being launched with a nonprofit Concussion Legacy Foundation, which was co-founded by Dr. Robert Cantu, who's with us today. Um, but this is not just to be clear about concussions. Uh, this is about repeated, more mild uh, hits to the head, blows to the head over a period of time. What, what do you hope to do with the initiative? What's the goal? Um, she's probably better at it than I am. But the, I, in, my, in my case, uh, the show, you know, former players, that there are things you can do, you know. Um, you know, again, going back to the things that help cognitive functioning from, you know, ballroom dancing and... Is all, that right? Yeah. Oh, ballroom yeah. dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you guys ballroom dance? We do. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, got, I, got the, I got the rumba steps down just now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about nice silver linings. Yeah, but again, it's the numbers thing. Okay, you know, this, 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 and you're done. What, um, what do you... I mean, I know that you came up at a different time, but the thing, things are not so different now when it comes in to the culture of the NFL. And I know you've been outspoken about, as I refer to it, that man-up culture. Like, you, you got to take it. So what, it, what does that mean to you, and what do you think needs to change about that? Um, one, you know, they always ask, would you do it all over again? And uh, the, if you asked me this, like, you know, 30 years ago, I'd say, yeah, absolutely, because the jobs that I've had, some of the people that I've met, guys like, uh, you know, Ed Marinero has been a friend, um, we just got to meet each other the other day, just, just outside. Um, those are forever. You last, those things last forever. And I would never give that up in, in a million years. That being said, uh, there's something intrinsically wrong with a sport, at least it is right now, um, where, you know, you lose your marbles somewhere down the line. And I, I don't think, would I do it again probably, knowing what, what's happened to me in my life? Do I want something to... Uh, that everybody can, you know, that they can do, whether it's, you know, you know medical things, um, so that they don't, ha don't have to go out like that. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't be the cost you have to pay. No, you know, they, 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 it's amazing. I've been to these things where they, you get the Courage Award and Achievement Award. I said, I am not, everybody's courageous if they dig deep enough. I said, well, you know what I am? I'm a survivor. And I think we're all... <laughs> You know what? <laughs> because it happens to everybody. You have to be your own survivor. So 
I, I'd rather be that than these other things. Uh, and we're all survivors. You're a survivor. You're a survivor. It's just how we go about doing it. So that's going to be my motto. It's going to probably, uh, you know, be the, uh, you know, the demise of, you know, how I, I pass away. But this, this is sort of, I, uh, we looked at it as, okay, this is your mission. Go out and, you know, take it. And what's, Kim, what, what is the mission? I mean, what, what do you hope to do? What can you change in a culture that still is saying, you know, when they get knocked down and they stumble around, get up, get, get up, get back in there? Well, like Mike said, when he was first told CTE, he said, well, then I'm going to be the one to live with it. And that's what we set out to do. Our whole life, it was centered around that, what we can do to, we can't stop the CTE that damage. We can't stop that brain damage, but we can do other things to promote other brain growth, neurogenesis. And so just like Mike said, the exercise, the diet, anti-inflammatory, low glycemic, socializing, the, the emotional part, mm -hmm. um, all of these things are part of our daily life that we do all the time. Mike had so many people reach out, not just other athletes or fans, but just everyday people reaching out, telling the same story. I think I have this. I don't know what to do. Yep. So our mission now is to reach out and share what we have found out, share our journey to help everyone out there. There are now, uh, right now, New York and Illinois, both have laws proposed on the books uh, that they'd like to get on the books, banning tackle football for kids under the age of 12. Uh, and that's a real issue uh, because that's not banned in most places. And it's not just football. The NFL, however, has had to pay, pay out a billion dollars in, in settlements as a result of a lawsuit that came not long ago. Up next, two more former NFL players will open up about their experiences and join forces to change the culture of youth sports. They're here live. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.